guys, it's been a little bit of time since I made a video here. Sorry about that. <laughs> My friend just sent me a picture of a panda. Oh, that's awesome. I've either been recording stuff for this channel and I've just not been happy with it, or I've been dedicating a lot of my time to recording stuff for my gaming channel. I'm still getting used to balancing having two channels, which is actually surprisingly difficult. But yeah, that's basically the reason why it's been about three weeks since I last made a video. Sorry. And I know you're probably wondering about why my hair looks so bad today. I spilt candle wax on my hair straighteners. So I don't have a pair of hair straighteners anymore. But I'm going to talk about the stuff that I watched in April. I'm going to get a section out of the way here first. I actually watched all of The Walking Dead. I'd already seen season one and I was like, eh, it's okay. And then I decided I was going to start watching season two. And then I watched all of season three. And now I have to wait until October. Anyway, we're going to talk about anime. Anime that I watched in April. So this is about two weeks late. Really sorry about that. Uh, but we'll start off with Street Fighter 2, the movie. Um, I did a whole podcast on this. Um, you can find a link to it down below if you're interested. I was on Dynamite in the Brain and they were doing an episode on Street Fighter and I had to watch Street Fighter and all my thoughts are in that podcast. Another thing that I finished was Otana, Otana Joshi no Anime Time, which was sort of a Jose show all about women in relationships and it was good. It was surprisingly good. If you want a short Jose to watch, I definitely recommend that you check this out. Um, they're all standalone stories, so a couple are better than others. There's only four of them. But I definitely recommend you check that out if you are interested in such things as that. The next thing that I watched was the Steinsgate OVA. People really misinterpreted what I was saying about Steinsgate when I said that I watched it previously. People assumed that I didn't like it that wasn't the case. Um, the point was I didn't enjoy it as much as other people did but I still liked it. Was it ever gonna live up to the hype that people sort of gave it? No. Never. I didn't hate Steins Gate. Stop saying that I hated Steins Gate when I didn't. Another thing that I watched was something from I think the Young Animators Training Project which was Little Witch Academia. Or Academia. I watched this on YouTube and I'm not sure that it was entirely legal, but it was very, very, very good. I've been watching like the Young Animators Training Project things for I think this is the third year that they've done it now, and I've always been kind of blown away by some of the creativity and some of, some of the story elements and what people put into these things. And I would I think this was personally one of the best ones. I definitely recommend that you check it out if you can. If it's on YouTube, you have no excuse. And yeah, it was good. I really enjoyed it. Next thing on the list was the OVA to Boku Tomo or Boku wa Tomodachi ga Sukanai. A lot of people love this show. I am not one of them. I've explained this in videos before that I just really, really, really didn't like the characters. I decided I was going to watch the OVA because a couple people had asked me if I'd seen season two. And I thought maybe I should watch season two, but I'll watch the OVA first. And if I hate that, then I'm not going to watch season two. And I didn't like it. Um, I don't like Bokutomo, I think all the characters suck. They are really horrible people, so... Just my opinion, if you like Bokutomo, more power to you. The last thing that I watched that wasn't new season, I watched a couple of episodes of... Mm, hmm, gotta look at my notes. Um, I watched a couple of episodes of Mao Yu Mao Yusha, which is a couple seasons old now, I think. It's all about like economics and things like that. It's very good. So far, I'm really enjoying it. I want to watch more of it. So I'm going to do that at some point. Hooray! I need to add another section in here because um, I never talked about a lot of new season stuff that I was going to do reviews on and things like that. So there's a whole section here just about new season stuff, which isn't new season anymore. It's very old. The first one is Aku no Hana. If you missed my first impressions of Aku no Hana, you can check it out there. If you don't want to watch the whole video, basically I think people fucking overreacted so badly. It's not as bad as people made it out to be. So... Uh, there you go, that's my thoughts. The next one is Hataraku Mao Sama, which is about a devil who comes from another world into our world and has to get a part-time job to survive. I've only watched the first episode of this, it's really funny, really enjoyed it, I thought it was very, very good. Next is Oriimo Season 2, I've watched about three episodes of this, it's just as good as the first season, I really enjoy it. Uh, there's there's really nothing more I can say about that. If you liked season one of Oriimo, you're probably already watching season two, so hooray! Next is Photocano. 
the guy who likes taking photos and then harems happen around him. It wasn't very good, I only watched the first episode, I'm gonna watch more of it at some point, but wasn't very good from what I saw of it. Maybe it'll get better. Maybe. Next one is Utano Prince so if you uh, didn't see that, I also did a first impressions of that here, Utano Prince season 2. Basically, I love it, it's cheesy as hell, I love it. Great. Next on the list is Attack on Titan or Shingeki no Kyojin. Really enjoying this one so far. It's definitely a more mature one. Very enjoyable. I like it a lot. If I was going to recommend anything this season, it would probably be this. So if you are interested, you should go and check that out. The last one is my team romantic comedy snafu or Yahare Ore or something, it's got a ridiculously long name. I was looking forward to this one quite a lot because Brains Base have done some pretty good shows. They did Momoro Penguin Drum. More along the same lines, they did Tonari no Kaibutsukun, which was another show that I really enjoyed. And I didn't like this. It reminded me of Bokutomo a little bit too much, so I'm gonna watch the rest of it. Probably not gonna enjoy it as much as I thought I would. So that's all the stuff that, I've wa that I have watched in April, which was nearly a month ago, I haven't watched anything else, so I need to get on that so I have something to talk about in a few days. I've mentioned before I've got a gaming channel, I've started doing a series of Fallout 3, which is one of my favourite games, so if you want to check that out and you didn't know about it, you can click here and you can go and see that. Otherwise, thank you for watching, I promise I won't leave it three weeks again for, for a bit, I probably will do it eventually, but um, thank you for watching, take care, and I will see you guys soon. I also forgot to share with you, I got this awesome t-shirt from Ubisoft, and some people on Twitter might have been interested in seeing it, so there you go, that's my t-shirt.